hello loves welcome to my youtube channel i am so excited to have you here one more time if this is your first time please go ahead and click the subscribe button it really does help me out i believe i'm at like 890 subscribers and i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of april i think um anyway i'm about to do this beautiful style i love to experiment with my hair this is the year of making beautiful memories with my hair so i'm doing my best to um give myself different styles that are unique that i love and uh, for this particular style i'm going to be crocheting the back of my hair I'm using the trendy tresses here this is called um serene curls and unfortunately for me i am actually crocheting too close to another piece of hair so they got together but no issues over here just untangling or detangling with my fingers and it's all good trendy tresses has been that company that has really really good crochet hair it's my first time trying out this like serene curls but typically i love their um crochet hair so this style is going to be crochet all the in the back and then in the front i'm going to go ahead and do some twists um for you i feel like every single time i'm doing something like this i tend to put whatever hair is left up in a bun and it's time for something new you know time to give my hair a break from that and when you're crocheting you don't have to crochet too close i, I typically typically when i'm starting out to do my hair i make that mistake i crochet too close to each other um in the back and then in the front <laughs> i remember to go ahead and put space so you could start from the back and put like a finger in between put your finger horizontally onto your onto your braid or onto your conroe and then crochet within a finger's worth of space then you won't have too much hair you want too much you won't use too much hair your hair will be light I think that's a mistake that many people um do with crochet hair let me stop that explanation and explain this you definitely when you're doing um free flow hair that doesn't have like a loop you want to go ahead and twist the middle so you can go ahead and put it on the on the crochet needle and then crochet if you do not do that it will give you a hard time like getting the full amount of hair um, on the needle on the crochet needle so again twist that hair right there in the middle just like that and then get your crochet needle open it up and then attach that hair right there close the needle and then you can drag it through get um, the rest of your hair onto that particular hole and then i usually like do it two or three times just depending on how loose um, the the curl of the hair is just going to go to the front i had divided them into halves and i'd put in like a zigzag type of um what do you call it part in the middle i'm going to get my um, general collection isha curl braiding gel actually yeah it's a braiding gel you can i use it for buns i use it for whatever i want to and i've used it in, in other videos as well i do like this gel it is waxy so it does um sometimes i can get away with not laying my hair down with a scarf when i have this particular gel versus when i have eco styler i just feel like i have no option but to lay down my hair or my hair is not going to like get any any type of hold uh yes so i definitely love to use this i'm just going to go ahead and apply as much gel as i need I, i'm always saying that if you're using gel just be generous with it obviously not too much but just put as much as your hair needs like a little gel sometimes it's just not gonna get you anywhere especially if you have hair like mine i know many people look at my hair from afar and think oh it looks like it's not 4c but i don't know if it's 4c or not but i know it's somewhere between there i don't know if it's 4b or 4c but it's <laughs> it's somewhere there and a little gel especially if you have my type of curl is just not going to work out so i would definitely encourage you to be generous when you're applying that particular gel just anyway it depends on what type of hair you have but with my type of hair I definitely need um as i said i need more gel now i'm always getting um the crochet hair in the back always it's always difficult to go ahead and work with the front because the back tends to interfere so i try to like put something to separate the back and the front so i could lay down my hair apply gel and then use like a bristle brush to comb that And 
then it's onto one of my impost most important parts of like my hair journey that the edges the edges have to be laid irregardless of what's happening they have to be laid just using that same gel to do that and then now i'm going to be doing that flat twist on my hair i'll do the flat twist and then whatever remains at the very end like that piece of like braiding hair at the very end i'm going to take that and then i'm going to crochet it onto the back braid that's already there but i've already crocheted the um the serene curls on top of it so that's exactly what i'm going to do oh so far i'm really liking it but i'll be honest with you when i was doing this hair i was like oh is it is it gonna look good how long is it gonna last but the thing is this is so easy so you can definitely go ahead and in the middle of the week redo this maybe wash out the gel just a little bit quick when you're in the shower and then redo that but i'm super excited to try new things i feel like there are many things that i want to do with my hair but i think i've been a little scared in my mind especially when you're at a workplace you want to have um hair that's appropriate but i guess my boss is very like free they just are so used to seeing me with a new hairstyle every week that <laughs> i don't think they're i don't think they're worried they, they don't care at this point as long as i show up i guess that's the most important part of the job like 70 percent of the job is showing up i am doing this because i saw this technique on i think youtube shorts like going ahead and um, getting a needle with uh, some thread and then doing this it was supposed to give some type of effect honestly guys i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna lie to you it's doing nothing <laughs> i think i'm doing this wrong it was supposed to give like a vibe of i don't know what it was supposed to give but it's not giving what it was supposed to give so definitely you can just leave this part out alone but since i'd already done it and i had um, submitted this to instagram i didn't want um anyone from instagram watching this and like oh where's this particular part so i did it anyway it did make my flat twist last longer they did last the whole week for sure so maybe that's what it did but it did add anything to it style wise um i i don't know i don't know it didn't add anything so if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it at all you can definitely leave this part out but i did enjoy it like just doing this i want to be doing like more so ends so i guess this was practice for me but totally totally unnecessary i'm going to go ahead and just cut off that particular um area after i finish like sewing this off and then again like i told you i'm going to go ahead and crochet that uh, to the back of my hair it's now all about doing the same thing to the other side as well and then i'm going to reinforce my edges as always like i told you i do love my edges and speaking of professional hairstyles i i don't know i feel like every black girl has this thing where they're thinking is my hair looking professional especially when you're working with people who are not um people of color it's just yeah it's just definitely a conversation that sometimes you you have to have with them i think my boss has asked me why do you change your hair so often and for me i say i change my hair every like now that i do a lot of hair on instagram i change my hair every like maybe two to three weeks but even when i was changing it every three weeks i feel like many girls change their hair every three weeks it's like no that's not how it works and i have to constantly explain because i would come with different styles like different wigs and i would just have to explain like this is regular in the black like women community it's just girls want to like look different every single week and i'm so happy that i've had like really great bosses that are not worried about that i think he was just curious as to why i change my hair often I'm always wondering if I will ever get an employer who's like, ooh, your hair is unprofessional. Because I've had many, many friends who have had cases like that. Oh, and uh, by the way, guys, this is the area where I was telling you guys, I'm going to go ahead and crochet my own hair to the back, the one that I use. Because if you're wondering, how do I tuck my hair, um, that particular um, flat twist, I'm just tucking it in the back cornrows like that. And honestly, this would really help if you did the front first, if you did the flat twist first, and and then you crocheted not crocheted but you, you went ahead and took um the the rest of your hair and then you cornrowed the back the problem is that when you are trying to go ahead and refresh and like refresh your hair it's going to be difficult to do that just because you've tacked that braid in the back so that was my thing i wanted to go ahead and later on um just take off the front and maybe do another hairstyle so i'm just going to go ahead and divide my hair into two just to give it like a fluffy look just like that because when i was putting it on i didn't um did, I didn't divide it usually i divide it into like two or three but that makes it really freezy so <laughs> this time i just went ahead and crocheted it like that and then divided it when i was doing this the problem is i added mousse and then you know mousse brings everything together but it looked 
amazing it still looked really really beautiful and i really really loved this style let me know in the comments if you would try this hairstyle super excited to see all of you guys do this super excited please tag me on instagram my instagram is mkn underscore the name barbara and i'll leave it in the caption as well thank you so much for joining me um, on another week of hair adventures please go ahead and hit the like button leave a sweet comment subscribe and i will see you on the next one love